I know when it comes to fat shaming, sure, there are people out there who will openly shame somebody who is, who's morbidly obese. I have not experienced that in my life. I've never actually had anybody who said something to me in front of me. Not that people may not have said things behind my back. Um, I've never even had one of those little tiny kids come up, you know, with no filter and say, look at the fat lady. That has never happened to me. I found that the most fat shaming that I experience comes from inside myself because there's a lot of shame that comes with being morbidly obese. And I have to remind myself that obesity is an external indicator of an internal problem. I have, um, I haven't met anybody who's morbidly obese, who doesn't have something that has happened in their life, whether it be childhood trauma, whether it be, you know, been in an abusive relationship, um, some difficulty that has led them to this unhealthy way of coping. Now, when I was a nurse in the hospital, um, working in the hospital, I would have patients come in who would be detoxing from alcohol or from drugs. And I distinctly remember this one man who had gone through a lot trying to get detoxed off of heroin. And I was taking care of him when he was kind of on the downside of his, of his detox. And so I got a chance to talk to him. I felt so sad for him because he was terrified of being discharged. He said, I, I, I know that I'm going to go back and do heroin again. And I'm really afraid that I'm going to go back and do heroin again. I don't feel like I have any control. And I so relate to that. You know, I found that so many of these people who are in the hospital that are coming off of drugs, when I get to talk to them and find out, you know, what happened in their life, like this man, I actually asked him, do you mind if I ask you, what is your story? And he was really open. And he said, this all started with an accident where I hurt my back and I needed to get painkillers and then I couldn't get them. And so I had to turn to something to help alleviate my pain. I hear that. I hear that story over and over again, that it starts with an accident, that there's so many people out there that don't plan on becoming addicts, but something happened to them, either a car accident or a work related accident, or they fell off of a ladder doing something at their home, but something happened to them. When it comes to eating disorders and sugar addiction and, um, you know, gaining a ton of weight, that's, I found that that's also the issue. Something happened and it's just an unhealthy coping mechanism. So I try to remind myself of that and remind myself that, um, my weight doesn't reflect on my character. I'm incredibly disciplined in other areas of my life. I mean, I have two bachelor's degrees. I was a very good student in school. I've been a good employee throughout my life. Um, I raised kids that were difficult to raise because we had adopted them. But I, you know, I have a lot of discipline in the rest of my life. So there's the eating as an, is an inappropriate and unhealthy coping mechanism. So I have a tendency to feel shame. Like, I will tend to not go out because I don't want people to see me because I feel I I feel like they're looking at me and they're judging me. And I'm sure there's plenty of people that understand and feel the same way. Um, so I'm trying to work on re just reminding myself that this is an addiction, you know, being addicted to sugar being is, which is pro probably my biggest issue is, is sugar addiction um, is is the same as somebody who's addicted to drugs or addicted to alcohol. Um, and it's something that we have to work at and that we have to one day at a time, you know, try to work on it and overcome it. Now this carnivore diet so far has made it easy for me. Once I got over that hump of having carb cravings, I've been really good and I, I don't have any cravings anymore. And I'm not expecting that there isn't going to be challenges. In fact, I'm anticipating that there's going to be challenges. 
Um, but for right now I'm doing really well. And, um, I do get doubts in my mind. Like I get these doubts that say like, okay, I'm going to be the one person on carnivore that just isn't successful. And all this self doubt and this negative self talk comes to me. And I, I've got to fight it because, you know, I guess I've failed so many times in trying to lose weight. I have this mindset that nothing's going to work. So I have that to overcome. Now, when it comes to the fat shaming issue, um, I think most people can agree that, you know, it's bad to, to shame somebody for being fat um, and try to be empathetic to them. I also, I know that there's an issue too with people that are out there celebrating being morbidly obese. And I know that there's people who are like, yeah, go you, you know, positive self-image, positive self-talk. And that there's other people that are saying, you know, they should be, shouldn't be celebrating being obese because it's really unhealthy. I tend to agree with, agree with those people, but I have to wonder if people who are celebrating their morbid obesity are, if it's just another unhealthy coping mechanism, because instead of shaming themselves, they're celebrating their obese bodies. And I can't imagine that they really, if like, if you get down to the inner how they feel on the deep, deeply inside. I can't imagine that they really, really are happy that they're morbidly obese. I mean, there's so many things you can't do when you're morbidly obese. And some of them are in really good shape. They're young. They're a lot younger than, than me. And honestly, they're beautiful. I mean, they're, they, they keep themselves up really well and, and they have, they're, they're very pretty, you know, beautiful, beautiful women. But the morbid obesity, I don't believe should be celebrated. I feel like if they were honest with themselves, they would would rather be healthy and be 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 fit, even if they don't have any, you know, organ damage at this point in their lives and, and any you know chronic illnesses at this point. It's only a matter of time before they do. So I don't agree with celebrating obesity either. I mean, we've gotten to the point in our society where little children are be getting morbidly obese. And I really do believe it's because of sugar. I mean, sugar is poison. And I know other countries have, have you know, really put a lot of restrictions on how much sugar man, you know, food manufacturers can put in foods. And we have it in this country. And we have a huge, huge obesity problem. Um, so when it comes to fat shaming versus fat celebrating, I don't think either of them are healthy and either of them are good. I think that there needs to be honest discussion about morbid obesity and acknowledgement that there is a root cause that needs to be addressed. And we hopefully those of us who are working on it can be here to help others who are wanting to work on it. You know, I'm only four weeks into this carnivore diet and I don't really know if I'm equipped to help other people because I'm just barely starting to see some results. But I can say that at least from my experience so far, that the difficult portion of being on this diet does pass. And my inflammation is way down. I feel like I am losing weight. I'm trying not to set unrealist, unrealistic expectations for myself. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to take one day at a time. And I'm working hard on not shaming myself for the condition of my body right now and understand that there are reasons behind it. And I need to heal from the things that have happened to me in my life and um, focus on my health because I'm going to end up crippled as I get older if I don't do this. So I'm motivated. I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow shame to settle in. I'm not going to allow doubt to settle in my mind. I'm going to just encourage myself to take the body I have today and do everything I can to make myself healthier as each day passes and each day look and see what can I do today to improve my health. And I believe that if I do that and focus on each day, one day at a time, 
that in six months, in a year down the line, I'm going to look and I'm going to see progress and I'm going to be very happy that I did it. And that, that internal little, you know, shame that's there, hopefully will dwindle away and I won't have to feel that anymore. So anyways, if you've listen to this whole thing. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope that if you are having problems with shame regarding your weight, leave a comment for me. I'm trying, I respond. I don't get very many comments because it's a new channel, but when you comment, I will respond. And, um, I, I hope to help people at some point that need help and feel like they need encouragement. So, um, anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.